today's evening devotional. I will keep a song in my heart. Guarding the avenues to the soul. Be filled with the Spirit, speaking to yourself in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord. Ephesians chapter 5 verses 18 and 19. God is glorified by songs of praise from a pure heart filled with love and devotion to Him. The gratitude which they Christians feel and the peace of God ruling within cause them to make melody in their hearts unto the Lord and by words to make mention of the debt of love and thankfulness to the dear Saviour, who so loved them as to die that they might have life. The history of the songs of the Bible is full of suggestion as to the uses and benefits of music and song. Music is often perverted to serve purposes of evil and thus becomes one of the most alluring agencies of temptation. But, rightly employed, it is a precious gift of God, designed to uplift the thoughts to high and noble themes, to inspire and elevate the soul. As the children of Israel, journeying through the wilderness, cheered their way by the music of sacred song, so God bids his children today gladden their pilgrim life. There are few means more effective for fixing his words in the memory than repeating them in song. And such song has wonderful power. It has power to subdue rude and uncultivated natures, power to quicken thought and to awaken sympathy, to promote harmony of action, and to banish the gloom and foreboding that destroy courage and weaken effort. It is one of the most effective means of impressing the heart with spiritual truth. How often to the soul hard pressed and ready to despair, memory recalls some word of God's the long forgotten burden of a childhood song and temptations lose their power, life takes on new meaning and new purpose, and courage and gladness are imparted to other souls.